What is up guys, welcome back to the vlog. So today is actually Christmas, so happy late Christmas to you guys. Um, today I'm gonna be doing an installation of a light bar. I'm gonna be installing it on my Subaru. So I'm just gonna take you guys through the process. I'm actually at home at my parents' house. I haven't been here in a while, but uh, yeah. Let's just get into this video. So this is the light bar right here. It's by Nylite, it's a 22 inch light bar. Uh, if you guys go check out their website in the description, they have a lot of different options you can get if you're looking into light bars. A lot of their light bars are really low cost. They also come with a two year warranty and the wiring harness that comes with it is relatively cheap as well. So if you guys are looking for light bars for ATVs, cars, whatever, um, your Jeep, uh, check them out. So originally I was going to mount the light bar to my bumper, but after looking at it for a while, um, I realized that wasn't going to be a good option. So I decided to mount it to the grill of the vehicle instead. So right now we're going to line up the light bar with the bumper. We're just making sure it's centered and then we're going to drill through the grill. So now that we drilled through the grill, um, I'm going to be removing it to so we can mount the light bar to the grill. This light bar should have came with rubber grommets. Um, they just fit right underneath the legs. It's kind of like a force fit with the bolts through the grommets, which is nice because it just holds the bolts in place. Depending on what you mount it to, you might need extra washers, but uh, if you're going to a metal surface, it should be fine. And then put your lock washers on the back and tighten them down. So I have the light bar mounted now. It fits pretty nice so far. I like it. Um, I'm going to be running the wiring harness of the light itself through the grill. I'm just going to be running it through one of the diamonds in the front. So now it's behind the hood. Alright, so I got the grill back on. It fits good. It's really secure. It doesn't move around at all. But uh, now I'm going to start running the wiring harness uh, to the battery. So I'm going to be running the harness in front of the radiator, I'm just going to zip tie it to these brackets right here. And I got my connection on this side that I'm going to meet it with. So we got the two connections here that are going to meet the other connections of the light bar. Um, obviously red goes to red, black goes to black. So I got the wires connected. Uh, I actually had to add extra connectors. Um, the, their instructions just show to slide the wire into the connector of the light bar, but they weren't sticking, so I added these guys in. I just crimped them onto the end of the wires, and then they slid nice and neat into the light bar connection. Um, these were not supplied. Um, you can pick these up at your local hardware store. I attached the ground to a random bolt on the frame and then uh, the hot wire to the back of the battery. Um, next step is to run the on off switch through the firewall. Um, we'll get there in a second. There's a lot of extra cord um, for this wiring harness uh, just to probably to fit multiple applications. So um, I'll probably just zip tie this up and set it up in the frame right here. So I'm going to be running the on off switch through the firewall. Um, I found this spot <clears throat> right here. Actually you can easily fit a screwdriver through there. Um, your vehicle may be different but uh, there's a rubber grommet that goes on here. And This is the rubber grommet. Um, what I did is I just cut a little hole in the middle and slid it so I can just easily fit the wire through. So I put the, the toggle switch, the on off switch, through the firewall and now I'm going to take our rubber grommet and attach it onto there. So I got the rubber grommet back in place. 
took me a little bit to get it in there, but it finally went. Um, but now all you gotta do is take this connector and connect it to the wiring harness. So now you just wanna run your cable and connect it and you should be ready to go. It's snowing right now so visibility isn't the best but this is just stock headlights and then uh, this is with my brights on and then back to the stock headlights and this is what it looks like with the light bar. So it's pretty bright. The camera probably doesn't do it justice but it's way better than the brights at least on my car. Uh, really wide it sprays sideways and up and down but it's mounted pretty low on my car but it still lights up like everything so it's pretty impressive 